Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Anxious Truth. This is podcast episode number 253. Today is not really a podcast episode. It's an introduction to what I think is another outstanding resource that I want to make you aware of. Because at the beginning of every podcast episode, I try to get you to go over my website and go through all the web the resources that I make available. And this is another one of those things. But this is kind of better. And it's free. So today I want to introduce you to a new podcast that I'm doing with my friend Joshua Fletcher called Disordered. So we're going to bring Josh up on screen. And uh, we're going to talk about what Disordered is, why we're doing it and why you should go listen to it. So let's bring him on. Dude. Good afternoon. Good afternoon from the UK. Hey, Josh. How you doing? For those of you who possibly do not know who this young man is next to me, give us a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Joshua Fletcher, also known as Anxiety Josh. And I'm a psychotherapist here in the UK who specializes in anxiety and anxiety disorders. I'm also a previous sufferer like Drew. Uh, so I speak from experience, both as someone who's been through it and who's a massive nerd and done the work and works with people um, every day with it. Yeah. That probably speaks to why we're doing this podcast together. So the new podcast is called, Dis and if you've listened to The Anxious Truth for any length of time, you've heard Josh on the podcast before. You see us work on social media together. And I think that last thing you said speaks volumes. A massive nerd when it comes to this stuff. That's the way I describe myself that way all the time. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. I'm the guy that actually reads the research papers even before I was in school. Like, come on, I got to get a life. But it's just a fascinating topic for me. So, yeah, same. And, and, and as anyone knows, and I know people who follow you know, passionate, passionate listeners of the anxious truth, uh, I'm one of them. Uh, and, passionate followers of mine and who followed the panic pod um and and it's a project i really enjoyed but what better way to have just two people that have been through it who have done a lot of the research a lot of the education or studying or studied or i'm still studying therapists always study mm -hmm. um and then conveying that information to people who, who really need it whilst nerding out on the way having a bit of a laugh and to be honest, Drew, I'm just lonely and I needed someone to talk to about it because it's all good being nerdy on your own in here. But, you know, it, it's nice to just have it, uh, these uh, uh, ideas bounced off a, a fellow anxiety disorder nerd. Can't really take it to my mates and stuff because they don't they don't really care or even have anxiety disorders. So thanks for doing this. <laughs> yeah, it's 100 percent true. And I think um, plus new projects, you know, new things. Hey, listen, the, the anxious truth, the anxious truth isn't going anywhere. So people have asked, well, is this going to replace the anxious truth? No, I'll still continue to publish the podcast. But. I think this gives us an opportunity to kind of be a little bit wider. And there are just topics that are better when it's the two of us. I mean, I could talk into a camera for 10 minutes on my own, but it's, sometimes it's just better to have the two of us in a room together, virtually. Absolutely. And as of right now, the, the, um, a recording, uh, what's really nice in the UK, uh, Disordered, has just hit number seven in the mental health charts. Uh, and there's some big names up there, notably us, but there's some other people there um, uh, that that we're kind of knocking about with. So, you know, there's been a big response in the UK so far and hopefully, you know, globally, because anxiety disorders are not, um, you know, especially attached to any one country. It's, it's a global thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we hope that we can, you know, disordered speaks out to you. Yeah, I think so. So what are you going to find over there? We, we're we in the middle of, we're almost done. We're almost done recording the first 10 sort of what we're calling like the foundational episodes that, that lay the groundwork for almost everything we're going to talk about. And uh, when we're done with this, we're going to record episode 10, which is about an attitudinal shift, attitudinal shift, but we've already done, let's see, what have we done? You know you're anxious when? That was our maiden voyage. Oh, we episode. had a game as well. Oh, no, that was, we had a game and a different one, but yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah we you did know you're that. anxious when. Yeah, you know, you're anxious when we'll, we'll be posting clips of those things on social media over the next couple of weeks, but you can go find it all at disorder.fm. We've done which anxiety do I have where we, we did sort of a whistle stop tour of different varieties of anxiety disorders, which was really good. Yeah, uh, we did how we got better where each of us kind of talked about what we did to get better. That was a good one, too. A lot of yep. sharing. The threat response had our famous amygdala call multiple times. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah so it's to cheapen the part. If you want cheap. Yeah horrendous 90s radio style um, interventions in your anxious um, listening. Uh, everyone currently listening now is going, no, that's not what I want. Uh, well, it's there. Um, <laughs> and come and join where we have a nice laugh. Making light of the topic, though, aren't we? Because like, the threat response, it's very psychoeducational, but we make light of it, uh, which is, I think, essential because 
you know, people who go for anxiety, they go for a lot. They're incredibly courageous, incredibly brave. Yeah. Let's have a joke about this. It's, it's your joke. It's our joke. You know, we, we can do those things whilst learning really important tools and resources. Yeah, I think one of the cool things about some of the joking that we do, and it's, it's kind of at a minimum. I mean, it's not a, a you know, 60 minute laugh fest, but clearly because it's a serious topic. <laughs> But the fact that we've lived through it, I think, gives us that appreciation. And anybody who's listening now or is listening is going to be a disordered listener, which I know is all of you guys are going to go check it out. But, uh, you know, as you get further down the road to recovery, you start to look back with some bit of humor that you couldn't have in the moment. But uh, Mm. you start to realize, like, oh, that was what was I doing? I was completely ridiculous there. The rationality kicks back in and you start to understand. So we can come from it. We we, we approach it from that standpoint because we've been there. We both lived it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's also nice as well. Disordered, what I've noticed, because I've listened to them back, mm. uh, not because I love the sound of my own voice, but just because I want... I'm because really you t- the sound t- of my voice, clearly. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, Because we, I really want this to be... In a, it's an important project to me, and it would be nice you know, to see how we can make it better and fine-tune it as we go along. Yeah. What I've noticed is that both our approach is slightly different from the anxious truth and the panic part. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's less off, less on the soapbox and more sharing a very compassionate, encouraging side to things and, and showing, showing a bit more of a vulnerability as well mm-hmm. uh, between each other, which I think really can be quite powerful. Um, also, there's some great features in there, like, the, there was a campaign on my social media called hashtag did it anyway we're going to throw it in this podcast because it was so fun so we celebrate your wins on there you can hear other people's wins and drew is um work weave this magic and just as you were talking then i had a pop-up on my screen uh we have a questions and voice note ma- notes yeah. dropped in from listeners and we get to answer your question but you can actually either write it to us or actually send us a, a voice note and we'll answer your question live on air. Or if you just want to send us an audio of an insult, we will listen to those too. Yeah, we're always up, up, always up for that. You can record, <laughs> that's true. You can record anything you want. It doesn't have to be a question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be anything. <laughs> you can send us anything. Um, so go for it. Have at it, you know. But um, yeah, I think it's funny because in my mind, disordered is probably what the anxious truth would have looked like if I knew now if I knew then what I know now, you know, in 2014, some of those early episodes, I, I, they're good. I have no problem with the work I've done, but some of it's a little cringy. We've talked about that, like the early episodes yeah. of Panic Pod. It's like, ooh, well, I wish I could redo those. And instead of redoing my first episodes, let's just make this new thing, which is yeah. better. Yeah. Sure. I, I think, I don't know about you, I cringe at mine. Yeah, sometimes. Um, but it's where I cringe is that it's done from the excitement of recently, not long recovering. Mm-hmm. So you, it was very kind of um, enthusiastic. You must do this. You know, this is it. I've made all the mistakes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I think this podcast is more from a place of you know we, we've been here for quite a while now. We've listened to a lot of experiences. We've worked with people. I've certainly worked with a lot of people in my practice, and it's it's a kind of like okay, we, we've been there, we've done it, but it's also like. I think mine's a bit more empathetic, a bit more compassion. Don't get me wrong, it was full of empathy and compassion, but it's more of a case of we've slowed it down a bit. Like your book, 7% Slow, is like we just slowed it down a bit. You know, I, I have anyway, particularly. I was in a mad rush to tell everyone the ways out, and now it's this is just like, you'll yeah. get there, you know, better the time, we'll teach you. It's okay. No yeah, I get that. I, yeah. I think it's, and a little bit, it's, it's a product of the privilege that we both have of speaking with such large numbers of people. Now, as a practicing therapist, clearly you've had people come through your practice, but no, th- I mean, so we both study, I'm studying now, and even a thriving practice doesn't see tens of thousands of people over the years. And mm-hmm. I, I think the contribution that you guys have made to Disordered, I think it's a big deal because when you get to talk to us, like you have uh, for the past several years, at least that I know Josh, that you start to hear yourselves, I think, in these in these podcast episodes that we're recording now, because mm. a lot of it was shaped in like, well, we know what people are struggling with. We've heard them. We know the specifics. So how can we, you know, how can we address those things in a way that we know will resonate with you? So, yeah, yeah, yeah right. absolutely. Um, yeah, 100 percent. There's no community engagement from we of Drew and I share a lot of the community yeah. because we. We're part of that, um, 
if it wasn't for you, there'd be none of, none of this podcast. So it's please see disordered uh, as an ode to you as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. I agree. So uh, yeah, we've done our, we're going to finish our first 10 episodes today, but we have, does anybody else, the symptoms of anxiety? That was <laughs> does terrible. anybody, oh, they're talking about, if we, if it's, does anybody else have heart palpitations? Does yep. anybody else when lying on their side have a twitching leg and the, and, and a weird sensation in the back of their head? Does anyone else? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've had a couple of those like rapid fire sessions where like, we just trying to one one up each other on like the symptom that we could think of that we used to have. So there was there's some good stuff in that one. Oh we, yeah, we turned it into a game show, didn't we? We did. We turned it into a game show. We had some sound effects. It, it's I think it's somewhat entertaining and I think also really relatable. We deconstructed what a panic attack is. Panic attack? Question mark. Uh, we mm. talked about self talk and what the words you use during a panic attack. We talked to uh, episode eight was anxiety, mind versus body. And you're as you're listening to this one, if you're listening to the anxious truth when it comes out on whatever that day is going to be, tomorrow is April twelfth. You'll only hear the first four episodes, so these are in the can, ready to come out. And then we did episode nine was who gets the credit. That's a good one too. So mm. yeah, yeah, and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we get questions. We got did it anyways. We have victories from the and wins from the community. We have our witty banter, our experience, our knowledge, our caring. I think it's a good, good combo. Yeah, all all enough to warrant a solid three stars on Apple Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we are upper mediocre and proud of that. <laughs> yeah. Come and listen to a mediocre podcast. Yeah, Two. yeah. You guys who I didn't know it all. Yeah, uh, overestimate their own abilities. Yeah, pontificating and self-aggrandizing facts about excitement. No, come That's join us. Um, I, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really a really special thing and, and the reaction already has been fantastic um yeah come join us come be part of it we we want to hear from you yeah absolutely so i put it up the url if you're watching on youtube is on the bottom of the screen it's disordered.fm we got that posh radio sounding so cool. url disordered.fm or if you go to the anxious truth slash 253 i'll have all the stuff that's in this episode with a link over to disordered go check it out you'll hear all the episodes ask us questions see you over there it'll be great we're out.